So hi everyone, in this video we will discuss the Lean Principles. So we are going to take a look at principles because in many ways the principles are, are most important than the practices or tools. Principles tend to be foundational and long-lived even as the practices and tools change. According to Wikipedia, Lean production is a systematic method originating in the Japanese manufacturing industry for the minimization of waste within a manufacturing system without sacrificing productivity. This management philosophy is derived mostly from the Toyota production system and identified as lean only in the 1990s. Taichi Ono, the father of the Toyota production system, discusses the importance of understanding the principles in his Toyota production systems book. He said, with a better tool, we can get wonderful results, but if used incorrectly, the tool can make things worse. We should not forget to always use the principles. So let's go through the main lean principles. Next, we will discuss empowering the team. One of the key principles of lean is to empower and leverage the creativity and talent of the team. This is not only a smart business, but improves overall team happiness. The main key concepts related to the people on the team are, first, we have a diverse set of skills including an understanding of lean principles. This is different from a traditional mass production line or a command and control team, where team members tend to have specialized jobs. Acquiring this diverse set of skills means that the team members are always learning. And it's important that the team members participate in building the system. This means that the team is trusted to make decisions and even have the ability to stop the production line if necessary. And finally, not only is empowering the team good for the success of the company, it improves team satisfaction. Many people want to feel like they are contributing to something of value and empowering individuals provides that, even more than monetary or recognition rewards. Teamwork is a big part of empowering the team. Taichi Ono thought that we could learn a lot from sports team. He mentions in his book that a championship team combines good teamwork with individual skill. Next, we will discuss visualizing work. We have seen that the work of Agile project is usually visualized with boards, and the progress of the team is visualized with charts. Toyota uses Kanban to signals and control the work. We have discussed Kanbans and their benefits earlier. So Toyota also has something called an Andon board. This is an information board that shows any existing problems. He describes this in his book. When one looks up, the Andon comes into view, showing the location and nature of trouble situations at a glance. Visualizing work tends to give a true transparent view into the st status of the project, something that can otherwise easily be hidden. Next, we will discuss experimenting using the scientific method. The scientific method are used to continuously improve. We have already seen that the scientific method is the foundation of agile methods and this is also true with lean thinking. Here is a quote from Taichi Ono's book to support this. The Toyota production system has been built on the practice and evolution of the scientific approach. Every organization should be learning organization. Every team should be learning team. Everyone should realize that even if they are successful now, they have a lot to learn. A big focus at Toyota has been to continuously improve. Here's a quote from Taichi's Ono book that helps demonstrate that. The new market demanded a constantly improving automobile. If you think about it, many markets such as markets for cell phones and software assume constantly improving products. Next, we will discuss improving flow of value. In a lean environment, you want to set up processes so that the value that you are creating flows from start to finish. One of the main reasons to do this besides faster to the delivery to the customer is you can also immediately see and fix problems in your workflow. This leads to continuous improvement. Taichi Ono discusses this by saying just in time means that in a flow process, the right parts needed in assembly reach to the assembly line at the time they are needed and only in the amount needed. It's important to improve the whole system 
in addition to each part. That's why value stream mapping is a tool used for continuous improvement. You draw a diagram with the steps involved in the process that you want to improve. These often are the steps in bringing a product to the customer. This is called the current state. You then identify the desired future state. This is done by finding ways to increase value and reduce waste in the process. This often includes finding better ways to do things. The organization's vision and overall direction help to identify the desired future state. You then iterate towards the future state. You may never fully reach it, but iterating towards it is a way to continuously improve. You can see that this is a learning loop that is similar to the scientific method. It is also similar to the agile approach of building the product incrementally. This simple exercise can be very good for planning and getting the team working in the same direction. Earlier, we have discussed work in progress limits and described how limiting the amount of current work can increase the flow of value and increase overall productivity. Here's a quote from Taichi Ono related to limiting work in progress. Reducing the number of Kanban increases their sensitivity. In other words, if you limit the amount of work in progress, you're getting constant feedback and you tend to see problems easier because they don't get lost in a sea of other work. One of the most important principles in Lean is to eliminate waste. Here are some quotes related to eliminating waste. All we're doing is looking at the timeline from the moment the customer gives us the order to the point when we collect the cash. And we are reducing that time by removing the non-value added wastes. He gives some examples of waste generating waste. For example, having too much inventory in is a waste. It could cause the company to need a storage facility. This requires a system to manage the inventory. It also requires methods to make sure that the inventory does not degrade before it's used. While this is a physical example, this concept of waste generating waste is true with other types of products. For example, having too many features planned in detail is a waste because some features may never be built. One way to reduce waste is to reduce setup times. Toyota has flexible factories allowing small batches of a variety of products to be manufactured every day. For small batches to be practical, the tooling has to be fast. That's why Taichi Ono said, our production slogan is small, lot size and quick setups. Reducing setup times is important in all types of work so that you can focus on doing the actual work. Reducing setup times often adds flexibility that can change the way that the team works. Another type of waste is not automating what should be automated. Toyota makes sure to automate where it makes sense. The same is true for any knowledge work tasks that can and should be automated. Taichi Ono points this out by saying, with computers available, it's a waste to perform calculations by hand. Next, we will discuss building quality in. A very important lean principle is to build quality into the product as you are building it. You don't want to start with poor quality and then have the mindset that the quality will improve over time. As Taichi Ono says, produce quality products 100% of the time. It's important to start with a strong technical foundation of what you are doing and to never compromise on quality to save time. It's important to fix problems that are discovered. You don't want to build a list of problems to fix. This makes more time and discipline, but the result is much better quality. Taichi Ono makes this point when he says, correct a mistake immediately, to rush and not to take time to correct a problem cause work loss later. When problem solving, it's important to identify and fix the root cause of the problem. Taichi Ono talks about Toyota's 5Y approach to problem solving. By asking why five times and answering it each time, we can get to the real cause of the problem, which is often hidden behind more obvious solutions. So the idea is to continue asking questions until you find the root cause of the problem, and then fix the problem there. The number five is just a typical number of times the why question needs to be asked. You want to keep asking why until you aren't talking about a symptom but the root cause of the problem. 
Stopping early and fixing a symptom will usually mean that the root cause will create problems somewhere else. Here's an example of asking why to find the root cause of problem. Let's assume that our problem is that our product was delivered late. The first question that we could ask is, why was the product delivered late? So the answer could be, because we had too much to do at the end of the project. This is not a root cause of the problem because there could be uh, many reasons why we had too much to do at the end of the project. The next question could be, why did we have too much to do at the end of the project? The answers could be, because we started by researching and planning the entire project and many of the plans changed after development started. This is getting closer to the root cause of the problem. It's identifying waste. If you make detailed plans that end up changing and research topic that don't end up being part of the, of the product, this is a form of waste. Sometimes things take longer because each task is unique and we were optimistic in our prediction. Other times like this, sources of waste can be identified and the process can be improved. So the next question could be, why didn't we plan and build incrementally? The answer could be, we probably should have. So we have identified the root cause of the project delay. So the solution in this case is to research, plan, build and deliver incrementally. An incremental approach to developing the product would not have reduced waste, but also would allow us to be flexible with the scope of the project and still deliver on time. So in this video, we have discussed Taichi Ono's Toyota Production System book because it is directly from the source. That is an overview of some of the lean principles. Taken together, they provide a way of working that is very effective in many contexts. If you look at the individual principles, you can see that they are timeless. The word lean is currently used to describe them, but that word is not important and may not be universally used. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.